Professor Dave and Chegg here, we should remember quite a bit about acids and bases, especially the Bronsted-Lowry model, which is the model of acidity and basicity we will most frequently use, describing acid-base reactions in the context of proton transfer. But there is another model that we will sometimes be using in organic chemistry, and that is the Lewis model. Let's review this model as well, since it will be relevant to a number of important mechanisms we see later. Rather than focusing on proton transfer, this model looks at electrons. A Lewis acid is a substance which accepts a pair of electrons, while a Lewis base is one which donates a pair of electrons. In truth, there isn't much difference between a Lewis base and a Bronsted-Lowry base, as even when proton transfer is involved, it requires a lone pair from some base, which can coordinate to the proton, hence an electron pair donor. But the difference is quite significant when looking at acids, because the Lewis model will often involve a base coordinating to some atom, rather than accepting a proton. For example, let's look at boron trifluoride, BF3. This boron atom has a substantial partial positive charge because of the polarity of these boron-fluorine bonds. Because of this electron deficiency, it is prone to attack by electrons, since positive charges and negative charges attract, which is essentially the central theme of the entire field of chemistry. So a Lewis base, like this fluoride ion, can attack the boron atom to form a new bond, leaving us with BF4-. We will call this product an acid-base adduct, so we won't get conjugate species, like with the Bronsted-Lowry model. One of the reasons this is relevant in organic chemistry is that we will frequently see metal cations acting as Lewis acids. Take the magnesium 2 plus ion. This is electron deficient due to the formal positive charge, so electrons can coordinate to it. This means that we can often find metal cations like this coordinated to regions with a formal negative charge on certain kinds of molecules, especially oxyanions, like here with this phosphate ion. Transition metals also frequently form Lewis acids. Compounds like TiCl4, FeCl3, ZnCl2, and SNCl4 are all Lewis acids due to having a central electron-deficient atom which is susceptible to attack from a Lewis base. Again, with bases, things are not much different conceptually from a Bronsted-Lowry base. The difference is that a Lewis base doesn't specifically have to coordinate to a proton. It can coordinate to something else and will still qualify as a Lewis base. Many oxygen and nitrogen-containing compounds can act as Lewis bases due to the lone pair of electrons on these atoms, as well as sulfur. With that, we should have a basic understanding of the Lewis model for acidity and basicity, as well as some important examples of Lewis acids that will come up as we study organic chemistry. Professor Dave for Chegg. See you next time.